what is azure multi-factor authentication what is multi-factor authentication and how does it works i will explain you in this video hello and welcome to my youtube channel please like video and subscribe channel and press the bell icon to get the upcoming informative videos notification so let's start this video multi-factor authentication is a procedure wherein customer are brought at some point of sign in procedure for a future shape of identification which includes a code on their mobile phone or a fingerprint scan if you most effective use a password to authenticate a user it leaves an insecure vector to attack if the password is susceptible or has been uncovered elsewhere an attacker might be the uses of it to benefit access when you require a two method of authentication protection is elevated due to the fact this extra thing is not always something this is clean for an attacker to achieve or duplicate azure active directory multi-factor authentication works through requiring or extra of subsequent authentication method something you know usually a password something you have in inclusive of a dependent on tool this is now no longer without problems duplicated like a smartphone or a hardware key something you are biometric like a fingerprint or face scan azure active directory multi-factor authentication also can similarly stable password reset when customer sign in themselves for azure active directory multi-factor authentication they also can sign up for self provider password reset in a single step administrators can pick out types of secondary authentication and configure demanding situations for multi-factor authentication primarily based totally on configuration decisions you do not want to alternate apps and offerings to apply multi-factor authentication the verification actives are part of the azure ad sign in which routinely request and strategies the multi-factor authentication assignment was needed now i will explain about available verification methods when customers register to an utility or provider and acquire an mfa prompt they are able to select from one in all their registered type of extra verification user can get admission to my profile to edit or upload verification methods the following extra type of verification may be used with azure ad multi-factor authentication microsoft authenticator app windows hello for business fid02 protection key oauth hardware token oauth software program token sms etc so now let's see how to permit and use azure ad multi-factor authentication you can use protection defaults in azure ad tenant to fast permit microsoft authenticator for all customers you can permit azure ad multi-factor authentication to set off customers and companies for added verification throughout sign in for extra granular control you may use conditional access guideline to outline activities or packages that require MFA. These guidelines can permit ordinary sign-in while the person is the company community or the registered tool however set up for added verification elements while the person is far flung or on non-public tool. So that's it in this video. In a next part of MFA video, I will show you practice. I will show you practical how to enable Azure MFA. So please don't forget to like video and subscribe channel and ensure to press bell icon to get the upcoming videos notification. What do you think about MFA? Please comment in comment section. Hope you found video content informative. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.